Hello guys, and today we're going to be talking about factorization in math. Now let's see, what is factorization? So you know about factors, right? Like factors are like the... Like before knowing about factorization, do you much know about factors? So you see, factors are like... Like they are like the two... The... the they are the numbers that can get multiplied by a number to get a number. Like, I'll show you. Like, 20. What is the factors of 20? 4 can get multiplied to be 20. So can 5. So can 1. So can 20. Now, what are factor pairs? Factor pairs are the numbers that must get multiplied by each other. Like, 4 is a factor of 20. But that doesn't mean it can get multiplied by anything to become 20. Like, it can get multiplied by 20 to get 20. It'll become 80. It can get multiplied by 1. It'll become 4. It can, But it can get multiplied by 5. So, so 4 and 5 are the correct pair to get a factor pair of 20. So 4 and 5 are 20. Like that, even 1 and 20 are the only factor pairs that can multiply each other to get 20. And even 2 and 10 are. 10 are. Yeah. Well, I didn't forget about you 2 and 10, even though I nearly did. Now, now with this, we can know what is factor pairs. I mean, factorization. But guys, what is factorization? Factorization is like, it's like explaining the the prime factors of any number, except in an exponential way. Because since it's prime numbers, you have to tell them in an exponential way. Like, I'll tell you. Because any, look, any number that's not like a composite number has to have prime factors. Right? And if... It has one prime factor, one composite factor. That factor itself has to get prime. And you have to keep on doing that until you get a composite number with two prime factors. Like, I'm going to show you. Look. Let's say A, okay? Now, how do we factorize this? We factorize this by doing 2. Like, you see, 2 is one prime number. So, we have to divide 8 by 2. So, then comes 4. But 4 is not a prime number. So what you can do is, you can divide this 4 by 2 factors. So it becomes prime. There, that's it. The factorization ended. You got a number of the 2 prime factors. Now see, let's count how many prime factors there are in this factorization. There are 3 prime numbers. That 2, they're all 2. So 2 times 2 times 2. Now that's just multiplying 2 three times. So instead you put 2 power to the third power. So it becomes 2. So 2 to the third power is the factorization of 8. But let's say it's maybe 72. Now the same way with 72. Like, okay, so 72 has a prime number 2. Right? Because it's an even number. And then 2 div getting divided from 72 equals to 36. Right? So, like 36 divided by 6 is 6, right? But 6 doesn't work. But 2 again can work because it's another prime number. So 36 divided by 2 is 18. And again you can divide this by 2. And now see, you got 9. But 9 cannot get divided by 2, but it can get divided by 3, the next prime number. And yeah, we got a number with two prime numbers now, with as factors. So now we can do the factorization. There are three 2's getting multiplied, right? So it turns into 2 to the third power times 3 times 3, right? So that equals to 3 to the second power. Yeah. Now, that's how you can do this sort of factorization. Now, what if you wanted to, like, factorizations is not only helpful in finding the numbers. Like, let's say, guys, so now, let's say that you're trying to find a division of something. Now, guys, let's say you're trying to find, let's say, the division that will lead to a unit fraction. Okay, so now, let's say it's like 
216. Now I know you can just simplify it easier, like just by doing a long division or something like that. But usually that's a bit tough, and you don't, and you can't just use your mind. So, like sometimes, so instead you can convert this into, like the prime factorization of it. So, so let's do the prime factorization of it. So 216 divided by two, right, will become 100a. So one prime number, and then when you divide this by two again, which is another prime number. I mean, the same pattern, you will get 54. And again, you can divide this by 2. And then you're going to get 27. And again, you can divide this by 3 this time. Well, I know this is 9, so let's just say it's 3 squared. You can also do that, but you shouldn't do that with the prime number section. Well, sometimes you can. Well, yeah, you should do that in the prime number section, but even this. So we finally got two prime numbers, right? Now let's combine them all. 2 times 2 times 2 is 2, power, 2 to the third power. So 2 to the third power times 3 power, three to the third power because there's 3 times 3 squared. So now, we got it, right? Now, you see 9, right? We should figure out a way to simplify that 9. Now 3 squared, I mean 3 cubed is 3 squared times 3, right? And 3 squared is 9, right? And since this is supposed to be a whole number, you can just cancel out this 9. So now it is 1 by, wait, just a second. 1 by the leftover number left, which is 23 times 3. So it will become 1 by 69. So 9 by 216 equals to 1 by 69. So, and that's a way of how factorization can be used. I know, like, it doesn't take much time to do it without factorization, but whenever bigger numbers come, like, let's say, a thousands place that, that don't have just zeros and everything, you'll have to use these methods. Yeah, so now. And let's say there's another thing, okay? Let's say you want to, like, do something with it. Now, there's another thing you can, you have to do. You have to know about this. Fact crazy. So, you see, like, sometimes you can just do something like, sometimes you can also learn to multiply them using factorizations. Like, let's say 619 and... Okay, I'm not going to do that big right now. I'm just going to use, like, let's say 111. By... Maybe 56, okay? Times 68 by 6. Now, you know you must be thinking this is a big number. But you can solve it using factorization. So first, let's just simplify everything using factors. Now, 56 divided by 2 is 28, right? Oh uh, yeah, and then like you can like turn this into fourteen, and this turns into thirty four. How come? Um, I just forgot that. And yeah, and now we can look. Oh uh, yeah, and then we can just simplify this again. Three, and this turns into what? Uh, seventeen. Yeah. Now, now if you cancel three and eleven, you see look, hundred and eleven is divided by three, right? Well, 111 is divided by 3 by 37 times. Yeah. And now, that, so now we just simplify this whole equation just by dividing it by its factors. Like, simplifying them. Now, so now, now this equation is, like, this thing is way easier. So now, so now we can do the multiplications and blah, blah, blah. It's all thanks to factors. So, yeah, guys. So that's basically it for today's video. So. Bye, guys. See you next time. Dun -dun.